what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install my new transition preset pack for after effects now these presets are actually super easy to install into after effects i'm going to have a link down in the description below where it'll bring you to the site where you can go ahead and download them now if you don't want to purchase the full pack right now and you just want to download a few different free transitions you can go ahead and hit preview and it will give you a few different sample transitions you can go ahead and mess around with obviously this isn't going to give you all the transitions that's in the full paid pack but at least this gives you a good way to see if you actually like the transitions so you can mess around with them before you go ahead and buy the full pack so once you've downloaded that file you should get one of these zip files either from the free version or the full paid version and what you want to do is just right click this and then hit extract files now this is going to be similar to i guess mac or pc you should just be able to extract them and once you do that it should just extract into a folder like this now if you open up that folder you should see that you have your effect overlays and the different transitions and to import these into after effects so what you want to do is just right click on this folder and then hit copy and then go into your folders and locate this pc and then go to local disk program files adobe adobe after effects and then support files and then lastly you just want to locate the presets and then what you want to do is paste those transitions into this folder. Now it's just asking me if I want to replace these files because I already have them imported in here from earlier. So I guess I'll just go ahead and replace them uh, and then it'll ask you to hit continue. I guess I'll just hit do this for all the presets. But yeah, once you have that, then it should be in this presets folder. And you just want to double check that all of those actually got imported into that folder. And then you can just go ahead and close out of that. Now, if you had After Effects open while you were doing that, then you probably won't see the presets loaded up into your After Effects. So if you're not seeing the transition folder underneath the animation presets, then you want to go up to the three lines here and just hit refresh list. And then underneath the animation presets, you should see that you have those Tylo transitions now. And using these transitions is just as easy as installing them. Now I'll kind of go over how they're labeled and why I have them labeled like this. So the effect overlays are basically just different overlays you can apply onto the transitions. And I'll show you guys different examples of this in just a second. Now in the horizontal folder, you get all these different transitions. And like it says in the name of the folder, these are meant for horizontal videos. So, so for example, this one right here is horizontal because it's 16 by nine. But if I was editing in a timeline that was vertical, so nine by 16, then I'll go into my vertical folder and use these 9 by 16 transitions. The reason I have this is because if you try using the horizontal transitions on your vertical video, then it's just not going to look good because it kind of just messes up and it's not really meant for the vertical video. So that's pretty much why I created these two different folders is so when you're editing in vertical, then you can use the vertical transitions. And then when you're editing in horizontal, then you can just go ahead and use these transitions. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually use these transitions. And the first thing you want to do is go up to layer, new, adjustment layer, and it should just create adjustment layer and you want to make sure that's above your two different clips and what we're going to do is just shorten down this adjustment layer because we don't need it covering our whole entire timeline like this so a short way to do that is hitting shift x and if you want to shorten it the other way you can hold down shift z and that will shorten it on the left side of it let's also go ahead and apply motion blur onto that adjustment layer as well as making sure that motion blur is enabled for our composition now, since I'm editing in a horizontal composition, I'm going to use the horizontal presets right here. So I'm just going to go over what all these different transitions look like. So starting out with the fish, I zoom out. All you have to do is drag it onto your adjustment layer. And if you hit U on your keyboard while selecting that adjustment layer, you'll see these different keyframes. And basically the middle ones, so like these ones right here, the last one in the middle is where you want to align it to the end of your clip, if that makes sense. So drag that adjustment layer over so those last keyframes match with the middle of those two clips when you play that back you get a super cool transition with only just a few clicks and if you want to try a different one you can just go ahead and select these effects up here and just hit delete and now let's go ahead and drag on our next one which is the morph subtle zoom in so let's drag this on just like we did for the last one hit you on our keyboard to see those keyframes and just drag it over so it aligns with our layers and here's what the morph subtle zoom in looks like next i'm going to be using the rotate clockwise and here's what this one looks like and then after that i have the rotate counterclockwise pretty much the same thing but like it says in the name it's going to be rotating counterclockwise but still a super cool effect the next one we have the slide down like it says in the name it's pretty much just going to slide down but as you can see it's just a super smooth and clean transition next up we have the slide left once again like it says in the name it's just sliding left next we have the slide right and then we have the slide up. And then after those slide transitions, we have the split warp wipe. This is one of my favorite ones out of the whole pack. I think that looks super cool. Next, we have stretch wipe down. Sort of similar to the slide down, but as you can see at the beginning, it like stretches out the video. 
and then it creates that super smooth transition down to the next frame. And then we have the stretch wipe up. So pretty much the same thing, but like it says in the name, it's gonna slide up instead of sliding down. Next we have twirl, zoom out. And then we have warp bottom left, as well as warp top right. Next up we have warp zoom in. And then after that we have warp zoom out. After that one, we have zoom in. And then after that, we have zoom in, slide down. And then we have zoom in, slide up. And then lastly, we have zoom out. And there we go. That is all 20 of the different transitions in this preset pack. And those are going to be the same for the vertical. But what I did is went ahead and changed some of the settings so that they actually work for the vertical presets, kind of like what I said earlier on in the video. For example, in this vertical composition over here, I have an adjustment layer with some motion blur. So let's go ahead and apply one of these vertical transitions. I want to go ahead and use the split warp wipe. Hit U to open up those keyframes and just drag them over so they align with the layers. And let's go ahead and play that back. And as you can see, they're pretty much the same thing, but just formatted for this vertical video. Now, another cool thing you can do is actually stack these transitions on top of themselves. So duplicating this adjustment layer and just deleting these effects I have for the zoom out. As you can see right now, it's just that zoom out effect. But what we can do is select that adjustment layer and add rotate counterclockwise or really any other transition you want to add. But I think this counterclockwise effect will look cool. So just align those keyframes up with the other ones. And when you play this back, you get that zoom out plus the rotate counterclockwise, which just adds even more. And if you really wanted to, you could just keep adding on even more transitions. Let's go ahead and try, let's see, fish eye zoom out. So this might get a little crazy, but we'll see what this looks like here. Honestly, not too bad. I actually kind of like how that turned out. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use these effect overlays. So on top of all of my transitions that I just created, let's go ahead and add some effects to this. So turning down a new adjustment layer, and we don't have to actually have motion blur enabled for this one. But now what we can do is apply one of our effects. So let's start off with the color edges, dragging that onto the adjustment layer and aligning these keyframes with those layers. And then let's play this back. And now you can see it just adds a bit of basically what the name of the effect is, color to the edges of the video. It's kind of subtle, but I think it's a pretty cool effect that you can add to kind of change up your transitions. Next up, we have exposure. This is basically almost like a camera flash or basically an exposure to the video. So it ramps up and it gets super bright towards the middle of that transition. Next up, we have glow. This is almost the same thing, but a bit of a different effect where, as you can see, it just adds glow into the highlights of the footage. So not the whole entire video is being exposed, just the highlights. The last effect I have here is split color. So as you can see on the text, I have choose blending mode, I think, or use hard light blending mode. And basically what that means is, as you can see with the adjustment layer, you don't want this to be in your video. <laughs> so to fix that, you want to go over to your modes here. And if you don't see the modes, you just want to go over to the bottom of your After Effects and select that blue circle and square thing. And let's go ahead and change that to the hard light. And now you can see you have a cool RGB effect applied to your video. But you also may notice that you have these weird edges on the top and bottom of your frame. And if you want to fix that, you can just drag that adjustment layer with that effect applied all the way to the bottom of those transitions. And there we go. Now, lastly, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys one more thing you could do for these transitions. And basically it's adding shake to it. So if you already have my shake presets, which I'll also link down in the description below. And what I did is I added that shake right in the middle of those transitions. So when I play this back, you can see what that looks like. It just helps add a lot more movement and energy to the video. So if that's something that you're going for, then adding shakes on top of your transitions could be a cool way to add different effects to your videos. So yeah, if you're also interested in those shake presets, then I'll have a video linked on the screen right now where you can go ahead and click that and learn more about how to use them and download them. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.